back to the cities and channel. We're all staying safe and well as we look forward. If that's the way to uh, look upon it, uh, to the visit to Villa Park. Yes, one of the old, old, old established grounds where more glory was probably seen in its early days and just recently. Although that one star on the badge, we can match that now, don't we? But uh, are we going to put a star on ours? Uh, let's wait till we get two or three, eh? Right, Pepsi 11. This is the match preview. Aston Villa versus City on the 6th of December 2023. Match day 15. Yes, uh, getting towards halfway through the season. Eh, not too bad. Three points off top. We'll take that, won't we? Okay, 8.15pm kickoff. It's on Amazon, this one. Uh, yeah, I've got Amazon Prime at last. I, can, I, can, I can't get to the ground, unfortunately, but I can uh, watch it on a channel where I'm not... Uh, stre well, I was, was going to say they're stressing over it freezing, but uh, you never know with Amazon, it probably does, does the same occasionally. And it's usually about two minutes behind as well, I've noticed. Yeah, City sit third at the moment. Not great. Played 14, 30 points, plus 20 goal difference. Villa just behind us, so they beat us, they go above us. Uh, they're in fourth, played 14, 29 points, plus 13 goal difference. It's only Villa are the only team just behind us on goal scores, so they've done very, very well. Only us with a better goal scoring record, of course. So we'll have a quick look at Villa. How are they doing? Yeah, not bad. And we'll try to predict Pep's 11, although he's uh, getting a bit limited at the moment with suspensions and injuries, isn't he? But uh, we'll have a look at that. Please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications, everything city past and present, of course. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Leave us your comments, leave us your thoughts, leave us your start at 11, etc, etc. Great to have your views. And you can give us a like, guys, a little thumbs up. Much appreciated. Spread that word and uh, tell your friends if they not already subscribed i try and do try and do a plethora of things a magazine it's a it's a magazine in a vlog so even though we're losing king of the kid packs you've still got me here if you can suffer my ugly face uh, that's for sure doing a little eclectic mix of stuff on our wonderful team past and present right villa i think as many expected uh, doing okay yeah i mean apart obviously they got stuffed didn't they by newcastle the first game of the season but they've not done that much wrong since then in fairness as uh, Unai Emery continues to get a nice tune out of the villains and uh, they've turned Villa Park, yes, into their sort of fortress, yes, what we thought the Etihad was until quite recently where we've let things slip just a little bit. This season in the league, they played six at Villa Park and won six. They've scored 23, that's almost four a game. Um, a bit worrying for us uh, who, who are leaking goals at the moment and they've only let five in as well, so... We're going to have to break some statistics here, aren't we, to get something out of this. The last six results in all competitions, 5th of November, uh, they beat, uh, sorry, they lost at Forest 2-0. Yeah, they're not as, not as good away, but they're, they're pretty hot at home. On the 9th of November, they beat Alkmaar uh, at home 2-1. On the 12th of November, they beat uh, Fulham at home 3-1. On the 26th of November, of course, after the international break, they went to Spurs and beat them 2-1. On the 30th of November, they won at home to Lefia Warsaw, Legia Warsaw, however you pronounce that one. Uh, to, I think we played them. Have we played them in the past? I think we might. I don't know. I can't remember now. His name's so familiar. And on the 3rd of December, of course, they grabbed a point at Bournemouth for the 90th minute equaliser and they drew 2-2. But it's not the away form that's a, a worry, really. I mean, as far as we're concerned, the worry is their home form. Their next three league games, interestingly enough, are Arsenal at home, so that'd be interesting. We can get something, we can beat them, and then they can beat Arsenal. That'll turn everything round, won't it? Look a lot better at the top of the table. Away at Brentford, then home to Sheffield United. And they're sharing it about a bit as far as goals and assists concerned. In all competitions, Watkins has scored 13 goals, 6 assists. Bailey, 7 goals, 5 assists. Louise, Doug, old Louise, he'll come back to haunt us again probably. 6 goals, 4 assists. McGinn. Five goals, three assists. Diaby, four goals, four assists. So they're all chipping in. And it is noticeable that they're, they're all doing it. I mean, it's even guys a bit further down that are still chipping in with goals and assists as well. And as I say, only City have scored more than Villa. We're wounded, aren't we? We have to admit, we're a little bit wounded at the moment. And there's no doubt with the fans. And the Villa fans can be quite lively when they try and when they've got something to be lively about. They'll be up for this. Uh, they managed, of course, a 1-1 one -one draw with us early last season. Uh, of course, uh, in the corresponding fixture, I think I don't think they had... Uh, I think it was Gerrard then, wasn't it? And, of course, a lot of the same players are there. They'll remember that. And they, they nearly, nearly nicked it at the end, of course. So we're a little bit... Perhaps fortunate, according to a few, to, to have their uh, Coutinho goal ruled out. But I think they'll be confident of three points in this, uh, which will take them. And what more motivation do they need to leapfrog us into third spot as well? 
uh, which uh, is incredible, really, if you, if you think of uh, how City started this season. So, yes, uh, I'm a little bit worried about Villa, I will admit it. So that'll bring us to what can we do about it? What can Pep do about it with his Pep's eleven? How can we cope with a confident Villa firing? And despite only that draw at Bournemouth, they'll continue to fire. It won't do them their confidence any harm whatsoever getting that point at Bournemouth. Although, if you go to Bournemouth and get a point, you're probably a little bit disappointed if you're one of the top teams. As mentioned in my player ratings feature, we're currently minus nine points now against the corresponding teams from last season. All right, if we can win the league nine points less than we did last season, uh, debatable. Uh, we're still okay, but that's a lot to claw back. And if we can get if we can get a win here, that's plus two. That's that's clawing that nine points back to minus seven. So let's hope we can start to claw it back. And we keep saying this game by game. Let's hope this is the one where we start to claw it back. So what does that squad against Spurs tell us? Well, not a lot because we've ended up with uh, an injury and a couple of guys going to miss this filler game anyway. So it's we're getting near the bare bones again. But the, the team and squ the squad versus Spurs, Edison Walker, Gavardi, Altakanji, Diaz, Rodri, Bernardo, Foden, Haaland, Alves and Doku. The subs, Ortega, Marino, What's one name? Philip Stones, Aki, Kovacic, Grealish, Gomez, Bob and Lewis. Yeah, I mean, I wanted Aki and Lewis both to start that Spurs game, but that was the difference. Now, of course, idiots, we've got suspended the idiot Rodri and the idiot Grealish. We've, of course, got injured KDB and, of course, Doku limped off. So I've, we've not, not seen any sort of updates on him, but uh, it's debatable or it'll, unlikely that he'll be available for the Villa game. And of course, against Spurs, although I think he's back in training, there was no Nunes on the bench, on the on the bit on the bench, on the bench. So uh, that's an interesting one to see what Nunes does as well, whether he's available for this. If Stones is fit, which is highly debatable, we've not seen hide the hair of him uh, for the last three games, even though he's been on the bench. Uh, I mean, of course, uh, with about fifteen minutes left against Spurs, uh, you know, we take a lead. Surely you're thinking of putting Stones on to help shore up that defence, but we didn't. So that tells me there's still a problem. Uh, of course, uh, Lewis, Kovacic and Aki are others that started on the bench that Pep can possibly turn to for Villa Park. As I say, we've had, a, we've had some changes forced upon us. We know Rodri, we've got a, I think we've got a strength in our midfield. I think we've got to put guys in there who are defensive-minded, that are defenders that move forward. A la Akanji, of course, uh, Lewis, uh, Stones, if he was available, uh, against a very smart Villa 11, of course. Stones, uh, uh, I say Stones is key to this, but I still, I can say, I can't see him suddenly appearing. He's been on the bench, not been brought on. All right, we've not had the ability to do it, perhaps. I just can't see him appearing for this. But uh, we do need legs, so people like Gavardiola, Kanji, Kovacic, and Bernardo will give, at least give us legs. I'm not saying they give us any pace, but they give us legs in midfield. And surely Ford and Alvarez. And uh, that old guy Ireland up front are uh, enough to uh, to worry Villa as well defensively. Uh, we'll need some guile and we'll need pre a little more work ethic. I think that's what's been missing. Certainly been missing guile. We've been work missing work ethic, and we've got to, you know, uh, sort of go back to basics if you like for this one. And hopefully, Mister Harlan can up his strike rate. I don't know his xG. I imagine it's not great at the moment. So, uh, and we rely on him to, uh, you know, pull out one of those performances for this one. I think where everything he touches turns to gold. Hopefully, and of course, uh, if Stones isn't around then surely surely the guy who doesn't hasn't done much wrong so far this season uh, Lewis is going to start this one so this is my 11 guys based on them ers and ahs and ums and wherefores City 11 for this Villa game Edison Walker Diaz Aki Ikanji Lewis Kovacic Bernardo Foden Haaland and Alvarez I don't think Pep's got a lot of alternatives I mean that leaves a bench of Ortega Carson, if he's on the bench. Phillips, he's not going to get it, let's face it. If he gets a game, I'll be very surprised. Gomez, Bob, Nunes, of course. We don't know what's happening with him. He may start the game, but I say it's odd that he wasn't in the squad against Spurs. And Stones, of course, who is another big question mark. So let me know your thoughts, guys. Let me know what your thoughts of the starting eleven are. Uh, verdict, verdict on this one. Mine and Moz's verdict. Well, of course, uh, Moz has said on this game, Villa's home record is exceptional. Not wrong there. So this is going to be a difficult 90 minutes or 100 minutes, depending on how it goes. But having said that, we're playing really well. Well, Andy wrote this probably... Uh, three or four weeks ago. 
The only issue is we haven't been putting enough chances away. That is a big problem. And I've been allowing teams off the hook as we did against Liverpool and also we did against Tottenham, uh, Andy, but you wouldn't have known that at the time. Though I expect that to improve as we go along. I think we'll just edge this. So uh, Moz is confident. Uh, he's gone for a 2-1 City win at Villa, at Villa uh, which is 15-2 to at the bookies, the average price. We'll go on to the other, other bits and pieces of prices in a moment. Personally, I want us to win this and I would normally probably say 2-1. But the way we're playing, I, I can't see. I, I don't want a draw, but I can see it being a draw. I've gone for 2-2, and that's one of the only times I've predicted City not to win a game in recent times, I think. I might, might have been the odd one here and there when it's a dead rubber in a Champions League game or something like that, but... No, I can't see it. We're not going to keep a clean sheet. Villa has scored almost four a game for fun at Villa Park. Our defence is absolutely shocking. So unless the team up it a little bit from the forwards through the midfield to the defence, yeah, I can certainly see us leaking a couple of goals. I'm just hoping we're good enough to score a couple. If we can score three, fantastic. But I'm going to go 2-2, which is an average price of 12-1 to with the bookies. So what are the rest of the odds uh, as at the 4th of December 2023? Well, we're drifting now in the Premier League, as you'd expect, after three consecutive draws. Uh, two of those at home, of course, so that's not great. We're now 5-6 to six on, so we're still odds on, but we've gone from 8-13 to 13 on, and that, that was like 1-2 to two not so long ago. Arsenal are into threes from seven to two. Liverpool are into fours from nine to two. Don't forget these are average prices. Spurs remains fifty to one, even though obviously uh, they've got problems. I think injury wise, but that was not a good Spurs team. And um, Villa, Villa sixty six to one. I think the bookies are being a bit disrespectful for Villa. There, in fairness, at this point in time, they're not really doing that much worse than anyone else. And can sort it out their away form. Uh, you know, they will be challenging for that title. And they're actually three to one for top four. So you know, if you're a Villa fan I wouldn't put you off having a little dabble at that either the match odds themselves City are 8-11 to 11 on uh, for the game so again uh, puntability there but as I said I have no no faith in that one draw 16-5 to 5 and a Villa win is 7-2 to 2, which again if it was a Villa fan I'd be putting, a, putting the odd 50p on that one most popular score lines, well, you've got 2 1 to City's 15 to 2. A 1 1 draw is 8 to 1. That was what happened last season, of course. A 2 0 win is 10 to 1, and a 1 0 City win is 11 to 1. So, bookies are still uh, hedging the bets and making City the favourites for the various score lines. So, there you go, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. Let me know your thoughts, let me know your comments. Please check out my match reaction to this. That'll be available uh, sometime mid morning on Thursday, hopefully. See, I'm not going down there, so I'll have time to write up the report and record it on Thursday morning. So look out for that. And of course, on Friday and Saturday, we'll have our Pepsi 11, the preview, and the King of the Kickbacks tribute. It's a fix for the upcoming trip to Kenilworth Road, of course, Luton Town, which uh, Captain Hell's chance of getting a ticket for that one, but... Uh, Proving a bit hard to get to away games this this season, guys. Any spare tickets, give us a shout at any time. At least give me a little bit of warning. Uh, it's been a nightmare this season. I think I've been to three so far, which isn't great. Uh, but hey, that's how it is. That's how it is. Uh, I've, you know, I, I can't complain. I haven't got the points. So that's, that's whose fault that? It's my own, isn't it? And, well, lack of money in the old days, but you know, when we had points. But there you go. Anyway, join me for that, guys, this week. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. And leave us your comments until we meet again. That's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.